Can you please send in Danny? Hi. Danny. How are you? Hello, hello. So you good too. to meet you. How are you? Hi, Hi Danny. Terry DeBro. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Hello, how are you guys? Love that jacket. Hello, how are you What's doing? happening? Nice Terry to meet you. What's finally, your name? What's your name? JR. JR. Yeah. Please have a seat. <laughs> fix us. <laughs> fix us. Please fix us. Fix you. So you fix look him fixed. Too. <laughs> I mean, he's, you're decorated, actually. You know, we all have a little bit of dysmorphia, so. <laughs> right? Okay. Where'd you come in from? Uh, Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Yeah. Living there for a while? Yeah, yeah, we travel a lot. So we're like mostly in Vegas, in Atlanta. Travel a lot doing what? I film content, you know, like an influencer. So I'm known as like your favorite snow bunny. Snow bunny. Yeah, snow bunny. <laughs> Where I got the name snow bunny was like a white girl with a big booty. Because <laughs> bunnies have big butts? Yeah, maybe, no. right? I don't know. No, they don't. He's very focused on the male buttock area too, which I find very weird. Oh, but he's always saying my buttock is so flat and his is. Well, it is. I have a, you know, I got a nice round butt. Oh, okay. You know, especially I work out a good amount. Doing so my goal squats. is to get squats. That's right. You know, I gotta get that little round. You know, we gotta get that. <laughs> We're the BBC, the big booty crew. Yeah, big booty crew. Right yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, skinny. <laughs> I did look at your social media site, okay? Yes. And huge number of followers. Your two main poses I've noticed, okay? Oh, Lord. One is the usual, Here here's my butt. Yeah. But there's another one, which I would call almost a gynecologic pose, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, spread eagle? It's a, it, there's the a lot. Shot. It's almost like a fight, that's the main event. Gynecologic photos, I'm like, Mm, I guess maybe that could be like a new term that I'm gonna like use when I go to photo shoots. Like, okay, let me do my gynecologic pose. <laughs> How did you get a buttock like this? Well, originally I wanted to get a BBL. At the time, I didn't have the money for it. So I was like, oh, the easy way out. Let's just get instant results. And I did a round of hydrogel shots. Okay, that was your first thing. Yeah. How many years ago was that? That was six years ago. Six years ago, okay. Yeah. Where, where was it done, in a hotel? It was like a basement of a medical spa. And it was real hydrogel, uh, you think? I don't know. Did it like, come? You could see like the cans, there was like canisters and it was like jelly looking stuff. Canisters? Canisters, you mean yeah. they like went Yeah, it yeah. was like two, they put two holes and one on each side of the cheek. Wow. And then like they fill up the big syringes, it was like huge syringes, like, this? Loca. It wasn't? No. Oh my hydrogel God. Hydrogel comes preloaded in syringes. It sounds like you had maybe. Silicone. I've seen every variety of craziness from plumbing supplies, concrete, it could be plastic, it could be illegal silicone. You never know what it is, but at the end of the day, if it's not medically approved, it's not supposed to be used, and it's disaster almost always. I did a total round of like five times probably, like overall. We were looking at your photos. Yeah. And on your right buttock cheek. There's, there's no cuff. There's no, there's no, at the bottom. There's no Freeze. banana peel. No. Yeah. <laughs> did that happen from that first injection? It happened like right away. I can imagine the mechanism by which that happened. Large needles disrupted that, those fibrous connections. And then when you inject around it, it sort of just brings it all out and you lose the connections. So they probably damaged something, you think, the probably. first time? Probably, probably. Wow. I wasn't gonna go like have a doctor do a BBL and like put fat down there, but a lot of doctors said they won't touch it if there's already something there. Right. Because they don't know how it's gonna react. Blood supply. Given that your social media is basically, and your buttock yeah. is your whole world, aren't you a little concerned that if you do something on top of a complication, you may have an even worse complication.